our new platform and others. Antonio Sotire Bordaggio, Principal Professor, Technology of Information 1 and 2, MSc, Licensing Professor, Daniel Guillermo Cavalier Riva, Associate Professor, Technology of Information 1 and 2, Licensed Professor Emiliano Andres Dueñas, Assistant Professor Technology of Information 1 and 2, Accountant Christian Dario Ortega Yubro, Written Assignment Chief Technology of Information 1 and 2, Licensed Hector Nicolás Sosa, Adscript Professional Technology of Information 1 and 2, Martín Mauricio Villodas, My Son, Helper Student Technology of Information 1 and 2, Translator Maria Mercedes Caballer, and others. Introduction. The analysis of data from management system of Moodle Learning through educative data mining and from learning analysis offers an improvement to all the educative process that implies as well as the great offers as postgraduate using the different methodologies and algorithm for the supervised modelization through automatic learning on their first stage and subsequent deep learning. It can optimize the teaching and learning processes. The learning analysis understands the exploration, measuring, collection, and data inform about students, the professors, and their context in order to understand and optimize the learning and environment from what it happens. At its time, mining data is an emergent discipline worried by the development of metals to explore data that comes from management systems of learning and they use those methods to understand better the students and the configuration of what they learn. This understanding nowadays represents an opportunity of unique improvement that will impact in evidencing the great effort made in part by professors with their great intake and the participation of students that are the main actors on the main develop the activities and develop the management system on Moodle learning. The standard process for the development of the analytic of databases consumes a valuable time. That time can optimize noticeable using analytic tools for AI through the development of supervised learning models, taken as input the totality of model data through integrated tools and other tools. The open, personal and informalized data from Moodle as non-traditional data are exposed to anomalies and those anomalies respond to different causes. An educative data is anomalous, inconsistent or imperfect when the data fix on concept of imprecision, uncertain and vagueness. The detection of anomalies on educative data and the correct analysis of its causes will provide elements on the search of revealing signs from educative process and generation of competencies from students. It can focus according to the develop of didactic engineer to provide the practices and competencies of teaching and learning of each one of the students as the public sector and private sector that it requires nowadays. Distinguishes such problems, it can make cultural change on the institution. The anomalies on the educative data coexist on the multiple bases of data, being those educative data of internal origin as the external origin. The educative data conceptualized as non-traditional originates from diverse sources and origins, for example, as what they all detail. The website from different systems of management of learning about MOVE platforms, other sites as portals from national public administration, provincial or municipal, from business and non-governmental organizations related to Moodle platform. The SU Cola system, the SU Guarani system, social media, geographic data and other educative data sources. If the basis of educative data and non-traditional educative data that they have under disposal contains information about all the activities of each one of the students, the analysis of certain anomalies on the educative data could draw into a pattern breakthrough that responds certainly to a cause, evidencing those causes certain defects and facts from students' community as long as it conceives the necessary changes of teaching and learning. 
The purpose of the following investigation is the theoretical development of causes analysis to the anomalies of educative data, having on account a great volume of educative data that exists, especially on the Econet administration and other platforms, providing that the methodological processes of AI through educative data mining methodologies, learning machine and deep learning allows to improve or create new kinds of professional practices through definition and strength of required competencies of students, optimizing so the contribution of professors, understanding that those competencies of students cannot be statics but dynamic. Let's see a practical case using Google Colab with Python. The example can be consulted in the GitHub repository, following the document link. We can load the content of an Excel spreadsheet in our work environment. This Excel spreadsheet contains a record of the resources used by Moodle. With the Pandas library we can create our data frame. And with the NumPy library, we can develop basic statistical calculations. We create the variable user participation to visualize that data. And we calculate the increase in income to the Moodle platform per day. That calculation can be viewed. The same can be done with the activities of the Moodle platform. Therefore, we create the activity variable. And we visualize the variable. Predictive data analysis can be tried. black dots are real data, the rest prediction. You can also work with texts such as student surveys. And break down all the words in a word bag. with which you can analyze the feelings of the students according to the surveyed data. Conclusions The inclusion of data science to extract knowledge of data from multiple bases of data from Moodle educative platform in virtue of educative processes allows sketch in the generation of learning models with the only goal of detect patterns from activities of students and professors and use them to improve the learning and individual competences of each one of them. For such reason, the application of different tools of collected analysis from learning management systems, it can predict the future effort of each student, classifying them and detecting those groups of students that is not probable to succeed, but will allow to modify the styles and methods of professors teaching for a more effective way beside of the possibility of build a metric of students in risk specified by each professional orientation, the learning analysis can also help to professors to discover if their students understand the subject of their courses that gives from the way it gives it, its contents are necessary, or make a predictability of required content through the capture of necessary data for it. From that way, with a learning analysis and accurate algorithm, it obtains the relative instruction as for the professors and students should proceed with their activities, and from that way get the best possible results on the teaching process and educative system. Projections migrate from a supervised learning or non-supervised with automation of notification and action as well for students as for professor and academic secretary. 
Although, as the beginning of the investigation seems that includes only two principal groups from students and professors interested parts of educative data mining, actually there's other groups that should be involved on EDM, all validated. Those interests will be developers of courses and contents, educative investigators, web administrators, Moodle administrators, academic secretary, SAPOE. Any questions?